In this video, you're going to learn how to use further and farther. These are one of the most confusing pairs in English, even for native speakers, but don't worry, I'll make it nice and simple for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, let's talk about the difference between further and farther. Now, both of these are adverbs and they're both used to talk about something that's to a greater distance or degree. So they can be used as the same meaning. So what's the difference? The easiest way to remember the difference between these two and which one you need in your sentence is to remember that farther is used for physical distance. And the way you can remember that is farther has the word far, far, and far is used for physical distance. So that's a great way to remember this one. Now, if farther is used for physical distance, further is used for metaphorical or figurative distance. This is best explained using an example, of course. So let's imagine that you're going on a road trip with your kids, okay? Now you're driving, you're driving, you're driving. A road trip is when you go from one destination to another destination by car, and it's generally a long trip. So maybe 12 to 24 hours driving, or maybe even longer. So you're on this road trip with your kids and of course your kids are going to ask you how much farther, farther, so physical distance. You're at point A and they want to know how much farther until you get to your final destination point B, physical distance. How much farther? How much farther do we have to go? How much farther do we have to drive? So you tell your kids that you still have 12 hours left. It's a long road trip. So you're driving, you're driving, you're driving. Now, you get to this point where you can't drive any farther. You can't drive any farther. So physical distance. So let's imagine you get to a construction site and the road is blocked off. You can't drive any farther. Now you see there's a police officer and you want to get some information about what's going on. So you ask the police officer why the road is closed and he tells you that there's construction. He gives you a short answer, okay? So now you can ask him, do you have any further information? Do you have any further information? Because you want information beyond what he gave you, greater than the degree that he gave you. So further, because we're not talking about physical distance, this is metaphorical. Do you have any further information? Now the police officer could give you a few more details and then he could ask you, do you have any further questions? Same thing. It's like saying, do you have any more questions? Do you have any more information? Further. And it's not physical distance. So that's the easiest trick to remember them. Farther is with physical distance. Now, just keep in mind that native speakers confuse these all the time and often use them interchangeably. So if you're ever in doubt and you don't know which one to use, I recommend using further, further, because it's the more common choice and it's more likely to be grammatically correct in a sentence. So you have better odds using 
further. So if it's clear that it's physical distance, use farther. If you're not sure, I suggest just using further. So now you know the difference between farther and further. And you probably know more than a native speaker right now. So before you leave, it's time to practice. I want you to leave two examples in the comments below, of course, one with farther and one with further. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforisenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. Now you will never confuse these two again, right? Nice and simple for you. Now make sure you practice them so you remember that rule and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.